it's Alice and I'm here at the International Culinary Center. In class we learned a really good trick to make steaks and chops look fancier and I thought I would teach you that today. Some flavored butter. It's really easy. First you want to start with some unsalted butter and bring it to room temperature. Unsalted is better because then you can control the amount of seasoning in it. Then just take a wooden spoon and just mash it up a little bit. This will make the ingredients easier to mix in. Once you have it mixed a little bit, you can add your ingredients. Today we have some finely chopped up rosemary and some Nispa's olives. I picked these because I love them. You can do anything with this. That's why it's such a great technique. Mix your ingredients in until it's completely incorporated into the butter so everything is evenly distributed. This might take a little bit of muscle. This might take a little bit of time to do. But look how good it looks already. Some salt and pepper. And then more mixing. Now the fun part, I'll teach you a really good tip to make it look beautiful. All you need is plastic wrap and water. You want to start with one decent sized sheet of plastic wrap right on your counter. Take a little bit of water just with your hands, it's fine. And just rub it on the sheet. Take one other sheet of plastic wrap and just place it right on top. Plop your butter down. The olives and the rosemary, they smell so good. And you're just going to roll it. Kind of like cookie dough. Once you have an even log here, you can go ahead and just roll it up in your first sheet of plastic. Scrunch the sides a little bit so you have a good grip. It's already looking beautiful, but we wanted to have it nice and compact. So start at the top and just roll backwards. The reason you want to put water on top is so it allows the butter to roll between the two plastics so it won't just stick together and not go anywhere. And then you're going to have this beautiful even cylinder that you can throw right in the fridge. And when you slice it, it's going to look perfectly round. You could put it right on top of your steak and we have some beautiful steak right here. And some compound butter that got hard in the fridge for about an hour. And Cut a piece right off, put it right on top of your steak. It's going to melt. All of the delicious flavors are going to add to your steak, the rosemary and the olives. The beauty of this is that you could put anything you want in it. You could put some garlic, you could put lemon, you could put any kind of herbs that you like. It's really versatile. For this recipe and to continue following me through culinary school, stay with us at What's Cooking on CBSNews.com.